In this video, we're going to be talking about the best survival bow. So what we basically look for whenever we were testing out all of the bows were how they actually performed, how durable they were and also the price, and then we did the best we could to find one that's more on the lower end, one that's middle of the pack and one that's also more expensive, and we tested out quite a few from different price ranges and these are going to be our favorites. Okay, So number three is going to be the Samic Sage Recurve Bow. And this is an awesome beginner's bow and I highly recommend it because it works great and it's not going to break the bank. So it's not the most like heavy duty bow by any means, but it's the first one I actually got and you know it works completely fine for survival situations. And then it's going to be a fraction of the price of other um, you know bows on the market. So it's super comfortable to use um, and it's made really well. It's also really accurate. Um, so I've tested on quite a few of like the cheaper bows. Um, kind of things that are under like $150 and this one was by far the most accurate one that I actually tested um, That's why it made the list. Okay, so pros the price can't be beat It was the best bow out there under $150 in my opinion It was really quiet and then it's also you know the best bow out there for a beginner someone who's just getting involved into you know archery I think this is probably one of the best options out there Cons, um, it is a big bow so it's probably going to be tough dragging it through thick bush if that's where you're going to be. This might not be the best option. And then the higher pound option would also be too much for a beginner archer. Um, I kind of recommend like the 15 to 20 pound for kids or like 25 to 30 for you know, adults who are just getting started in archery. If you're more experienced you can go higher but I, re I would recommend you stick to these numbers if you're just getting started. Okay, So number two is going to be the diamond archery edge. If you're a little bit more serious about bow hunting and you have a bit more money to spend, this is one I would recommend. A friend of mine actually just, you know, just getting started into bow hunting picked this up and has loved it so far. It's not like the biggest bow out there or like the most powerful, but it's really versatile for pretty much any situation and any user. So if you know if you're male, female, you're a kid, you're an adult, um, pretty much any situation is going to be a perfect thing. You know, it's not it's not overly big. Um, it's not heavy, it's pretty easy to carry around, which would be ideal for a survival situation. Pros, um, it's a great bow for all skill levels and ages. It's light and compact for carrying around through thick bush, which is really nice. I know some people are probably gonna say, like, you know, this it's it's not the most powerful bow or whatever. But you know, whenever you're whenever you're pretty much in a survival situation, you want something that's going to be light and compact and easy to carry around that does the job, and this is kind of why um, you know this made the list for me. But I found it really comfortable and smooth to shoot as well, which is really important. As for the cons, um, it's a little bit noisier than some of the other bows out there. And then it's not going to be the biggest bow, so experienced or bigger archers might prefer something else. Um, but other than that, there wasn't really too many bad things to say about it. But the number one pick is going to be the Bear Archery Cruiser G2. And this is the bow I just recently picked up and it's been awesome so far and I would definitely recommend it. Again, it's not the biggest or most powerful bow on the, on the market, but it's great for men and women of all ages. And then it's also not overly big, which I'm a big fan of for survival because, you know, the last thing you want is to be carrying something heavy through the bush or, you know, wherever, right? I like small, I like compact, and it's something that does the job. That's what I'm going to kind of go for, okay? So pros, again, it's a great bow for all ages and also all skill levels. Draw length and also the pound can be adjusted. So the draw length can be adjusted from about 12 to 30 inches. And also um, the pound can be from 5 to 70 pound as well, which is nice. And then it weighs only 3 pounds and it can also shoot up to 315 feet per second, which is, you know, plenty. Okay, so cons, um, it's recommended to take it into an archery shop and get it adjusted to you. Um, so I probably wouldn't recommend just getting it and taking it out of the box and shooting. You kind of want to adjust it to um, your specific body and like all, you know, all, all your features, that kind of thing. So it would be recommended to take it into an archery place. Um, you know, depending, it might cost, you know, like probably anywhere from like $25 to $50 to get it adjusted. Um, that's not the fastest bow and probably wouldn't be the best for an experienced archer. Um, again, it's it's not for like competitions, you know, it's, it's, it's for survival, so like hunting, that kind of thing. So you don't always need like the biggest and baddest bow out there. You need something that's going to be, you know, compact and it's going to do the job and um, this will definitely do that. But if you are interested or you want to find out some more, you can check the description down below for more images, reviews, and also the cheapest place we could find each of the products at the time of this video. So you can go ahead and check those out if you want to go ahead and do so. And if you have any questions, you can just leave a comment down below. I'll get back to you as soon as we can. And I will just mention our monthly giveaway. So if you want to enter into our monthly gear giveaway, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel and then comment giveaway down below. 
simply do both and you'll be automatically entered. All right, so that's going to be for the video. Hope you enjoyed and we'll see you in the next one.